Many thanks for joining us on the newsroom. I'm Simisala Adigun. President Mohamed Buhari has signed into law the Appropriation Bill 2023, totaling 21.83 trillion naira. Buhari signed the bill at the Council Chambers of the State House in Abuja. This development comes six days after the National Assembly passed the bill, which represents an increase of 1.32 trillion naira from the 20.51 trillion naira budget proposal. A breakdown of the budget indicates an allocation of 967.5 billion naira for statutory transfers, 6.6 .6 trillion naira for debt servicing. The presidency has accused former President Olusegun Obasanjo of being jealous of President Mohamed Buhari for beating his record in national development. Obasanjo, in a New Year message, endorsed the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and claimed that Nigeria moved from frying pan to fire under Buhari's administration. But the senior special assistant to the president on media and publicity, Garba Shehu, on Monday faulted the comment, maintaining that his principal is ahead of Chief Obasanjo. The presidency went ahead to list the achievement of President Buhari, including bagging an award from African presidents as the anti-corruption champion of the continent. Such, he added, places the Nigerian leader ahead of Obasanjo. Governor Yesan Wike of River State has mocked the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, over the endorsement of Labour Party's presidential candidate, Peter Obi, by former president Olusegun Obasanjo. He was speaking during the flagging off of a road project in Emoha local government area of the state on Monday. The governor said the move by Obasanjo, who refused to endorse Atiku, shows that there is something fundamentally wrong with Atiku, who was Obasanjo's vice from 1999 to 2003. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control says it is observing all countries with increasing COVID cases. NCDC Director General Ifedayo Aditifa said that on Monday during an interview with Newsman following a surge in China's COVID cases and the country's decision to drop its strict zero COVID policy, other countries began to impose restrictions on travelers arriving from China. However, the federal government has said there, there was no reason to impose restrictions on travelers coming to Nigeria from China. Latest data on electricity generation trend has indicated that the available generation capacity in Nigeria's power sector dropped again in 2022. According to data, it crashed from the 6,336.52 megawatts recorded in 2021 to 5,346.82 megawatts. It was also observed that the annual capacity payment loss to power generation companies had increased from 1.8 trillion naira, as data from the document further showed a decrease in the average utilized power in 2022. On the global scene, a court in Senegal has sentenced two lawmakers, Masata Samb and Amadou Niang, both members of the opposition, to six months in jail for assaulting their pregnant colleague during a parliamentary session. The development comes amid a proposed third term, but the president has refused to affirm if he will be contest. The lawmakers were also ordered to pay a total of 5 million CFA francs, that's around $8,000, in compensation to the lawmaker. In sports, FIFA will ask every country in the world to name a stadium in honor of Pelé. FIFA president Gianni Infantino, who is in Brazil for Pelé's funeral, told local reporters on Monday. Pelé, the Brazil great, who won the World Cup three times and scored more than 1,000 goals, died last Thursday, aged 82. But that's it on the newsroom at this time. Join us next time for more updates.